Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. We're going to start by drawing a large triangle for the pyramid shaped body. So let's start at the bottom here with a straight line going from the left all the way towards the right. Now at these ends here we just want to round them out and come up towards a central point. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to round out the edge. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we want to come up to a central point. Now we want to round out the top as well, so we're going to leave a gap at the top. So just aiming towards the center, going straight up, and then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to leave a space at the top and come down an angle right down towards the bottom edge. Let's take this top and just round it out. So we're going to connect these two points with a rounded curve going around. Now that we've got the body, let's draw in the large eyes. So on either side at the top, we're going to leave a space coming in and drawing a point on either side. So there's a nice little gap on either side. We're going to connect those two points with the upper eyelid. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and then come down on the right side. Now we're going to do the bottom eyelid. So starting on the left again, we're going to come down towards the bottom and then back up on the right side. Let's draw the pupil up here. It's going to be basically a long stretched out oval. Starting from the top of the eyelid, come down to the bottom and then we'll pull that back up towards the top. We're going to color the pupil in black. On the upper eyelid, we're going to draw in four eyelashes. So starting over on the left side, we draw an angle line going out, and we'll just work our way over towards the right, just angling them outwards. Let's do the same thing on the bottom. So starting on the left side, we're going to angle towards the left, leave a space coming down, and then now over towards the right, we'll angle them out towards the right. Just in the space here, we're going to draw in the bow tie. So let's start by drawing in a long X, starting from the left, come down in an angle towards the right. Now we're gonna cross over in the opposite direction. Now let's take those two points and connect it with a straight line coming down. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's color that in black. Let's add in some brick texture in the lower part of the body. So in between the eye and the bow tie, we're gonna draw a straight line going across from left to right. Now we're going to add two more lines in between here. So starting down on the left side again, we'll go in towards the bow tie, and we'll continue on the right side. And now we're going to draw one more straight line going across, just below the bow tie. Let's add in some vertical lines to separate the bricks. So on the left side here, we're going to draw one straight line coming down in the middle, and then one on the right side. Now on the second row, we're going to step over Draw another straight line down there, and then from this point we'll step in towards the left and draw another straight line. Over here we're going to step over towards the right again, with one straight line here, and then one on the end. Let's go to the top point here and draw in the large top hat. So leaving a gap, we're going to step up to the top and draw a straight line going across. On either end we're going to draw a short line going upwards. Now we're going to pull these in towards the center, but we're going to leave a large gap in the center here. So going across. Do the same length line on the right side. Now let's take these two points and just sort of curve it over towards the left, going up. Just a slight curve. Do the same thing on the right side, curving over towards the left. Now we're going to connect those two points with a straight line. Let's go ahead and color the top hat in black. From here we're going to add in some arms. So on the left side, I'm just going to have the arm coming in towards the hip. So starting up here, we're going to curve around to the side of the elbow and then back in. But we're going to leave a little gap on the inside. So just stopping right about there. Now we're going to draw the little hand coming down. So from this point, we're going to curve out and pull that in behind the body. We're going to leave a gap at the top coming down. And we're just going to follow this curve all the way around to the elbow and then back in towards the body. Starting on the inside, curving out and then we'll pull that back in. We're going to color that arm in black. Let's move over towards the right side and draw this arm. So we're going to have the arm going up with the hand out like this. So starting at the top, we're going to just line it up. We're going to curve up towards the thumb. 
curving out towards the right and then up. From here, we're going to round out the thumb, so curving around and then down. Now for the hand, we're just going to draw like almost like a half oval coming out and then back in. We go out towards the right and then pull that back in. Again, like we did with this arm on the left, we're going to curve this back in towards the body. You can even gap space across. Now let's go ahead and color that in black. Let's finish this off with the leg. So I'm going to start on the left side. I'm going to draw the leg coming down and curving back up. Starting over here, come down to the knee, and then we'll pull that back up like a hook. From this end, we're going to draw on the foot. So coming down, and then we'll just pull this back up and in. Now we're going to draw on the back side of the leg. So we're going to start back up here, stepping over, curving down, and then we'll just pull that up in towards the heel. Let's color that leg in black. Now we're going to draw the exact same leg on the right side here. So we're going to leave a space, starting at the top outside of the leg. We'll curve down towards the knee and then back up. So we want to make sure that the bottom curve is the same height. Now we're going to draw on the foot. So from this point, we want to curve down towards the toe and then we'll pull that up and in. We go back up to the top, stepping over towards the right. We'll draw the inside part of the leg going up in towards the heel. Now we're going to color that leg in black. Finish that off at the bottom, and that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Gravity Falls playlist. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.